Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tiger Claw TV. We're going to play a game called Love by Fred Wood. Now, this is a, 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 this, a little platformer that came out probably like five years ago or so. Uh, and it's a quick playthrough, but I like it very much. It has uh, become, over the years, an old favorite in my family. Give me a second here. There we go. <laughs> That's not going to do. There we go. Let's just fix the old face cam. Alright, good. I'm not covering anything up. Alright, so... So the way this works... You can see I have a little shadow there that blinks. Now, anywhere I move, I can leave this shadow. And this shadow is going to be, you know, my respawn point. So because of the shadow mechanic, they're able to make the game... Uh, they're, they're able to make the, the, the level design pretty difficult. Uh, because you can always just go back to wherever your shadow is. So, uh, so what I want to do is I want to get the best rating possible which means leaving the fewest shadows and losing the fewest lives. So here we go. Time is also of the essence as well. So I've beat this game many, many times. Uh, so I can get through most of it um, pretty easily. I know that there have been updates over the years where levels have been added. So some of these achievements, like getting the better grade and speedrunning and all that, those achievements have become harder to get because of the updates to the game. Alright, that, that first level is pretty easy. Okay. Ah, uh, boy. Alright, a little bit about the game. I first played this at MAGFest uh, when the creator was showing it off. Oh, come on now. At one of those indie showcases that they do there. This is not going great. I played through this in preparation of, uh, of doing a quick let's play uh, a couple days ago. And I did pretty good. Um, I got a B minus. Which sucks because as it turns out, the achievement for getting a B or better does not unlock if you get a B minus. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting I I'm, <laughs> I'm getting better than a B minus this run through, but that's all right. This is still a really fun game. Um my son played this quite a lot when he was younger just exploiting the the me the shadow mechanic. Oh, exploiting the shadow mechanic, you know, made it makes it a good game for kids. All right, let me focus on this real quick. I do like this track. I don't know offhand what this game costs, but it's not much. All right, we have a little secret here. If you don't have it already, there's an achievement to be get to, to uh, you know unlock there. 
But again, I've, I've, I've already got it. No. That's good. Yeah, focus. Okay, so the way this works is uh, the stages are composed of layered images. There's like, oh no. There's like five different images layered, layered together, right? Uh, one image is the, the stuff that kills you. One image is the solid ground, etc., etc. And in order to make it animate, you just make the one that kills you an animated GIF, so on and so forth. So there is a uh, there is a version of the game you can play called Love Custom, which uh, unlocks those resources. So you can get out GIMP and you can you can draw you know levels. Now, I didn't make anything uh, substantial with Love Custom, but I did like that it existed, and I played with it some. Alright, this part sucks. Okay, so the only real restriction we have on the, the, uh, oh my gosh, leaving the shadows is you have to be on solid ground. So whenever you're bouncing like this, um, you can't leave any shadows in the bouncing areas. stage is a bit of a weird one because uh, over the years as updates came out this is this one visibly changed like these uh, little platforms up here used to disappear and come back I, I don't know what happened that uh, he decided to make them easier no So we can see I'm getting ready to enter like a weird mouth thing. And then uh, the, the stage where you're inside the mouth is later. Like there, at some point there was a rearranging of how the stages went. And this stage always kind of pissed me off because the whole gimmick of this stage is it's all bouncy things. But remember you can't leave your shadow on the bouncy things. So I feel like at this point they took the entire gimmick of the game and just like threw it out the window and it became at, like this is the point where it becomes a Newgrounds flash game from uh, from 1999 all right we're making good progress at this point in the game we're still in the original release I have not got to any of their additional levels.
Oh boy. I guess I can't just jump over that. Yeah, and here's the actual mouth stage. So very weird. Uh, some of the changes that have happened over the years. So you hit that thing, and that changes the stage, opening up this thing. Oh my gosh, what a bunch of crap. <clears throat> First time you hit this thing, it bounces really slowly for some reason. So another thing about uh, this game is this was this was an Ouya game, believe it or not, early on in the Ouya life cycle, the short Ouya life cycle, um, and the creator pulled it from Ouya, like he wanted to distance distance himself from what Ouya became towards the end, and then at the very end he 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 put the game back on the Ouya. <laughs> So it was it was available. Then he pulled it. Then he put it back. Um, and just before the Ouya shut down for good, I wanted to go buy it because uh, it was only 99 cents. And I just never I never logged on and made it happen. So that's one of the things I missed out due to the uh, Ouya shutdown. No. Not so bad. All right, so at this point, that last level that we just played, that was the last level at one point in the game. And this existed in like an additional level pack that came out later on. And then much later, he was like, oh, I released an update that had more levels. And what he did was take the additional level pack and kind of fold it into the main game and make the main game longer. And I was always against this because it, it, it wasn't any real new content. And it made certain achievements much more difficult to get. But nonetheless, here we are. I burned through that. Sometimes that one gives me trouble.
Okay, here's a particularly awful stage, which uh, centers around um, teleporters. Now this one, the three dots above it, you can see to uh, um, determine which teleporter you come out of. So I have to make sure and do them when, when it's on the middle one, otherwise it's instant death. Because Fred thought that would be fun, I guess. Ah, that's not gonna work. Oh, am I screwed now? No, I'm not screwed. Oh wow! Look, look at my lives go. No, come on. Jeez, that was awful. Oh my gosh. Bad shadow placement. expecting there. C plus. <laughs> Better than I expected. So there it is. I lost a ton of guys on that one spot um, in the, the teleporter level. But that's love plus. Is, is it still called love plus anymore? Hold on a second. No, now it's just called Love. I don't know. Name's changed a couple times. So, Fred actually did make a sequel to this game called Kuso. Uh, and it it's it's a nice little game. It adds... Fo it follows the same uh, format. It looks very much the same. You can still leave shadows and whatnot. Uh... He even included the entire game of love rebuilt inside of Kuso. But I don't think it's as good. And the reason why is because uh, the shadow that you leave in Kuso can die. Returning you to the start of the level. So the fact that the shadow can die severely limits where you can put it. <clears throat> And it seems, I mean, it's such a simple little little game. It seems so uh, pointless to limit the player in that way. So that kind of frustrated me, frustrated me a little bit. But that's love, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.